All right, hey everybody, we're back. Hello. We just did we all four skeletons. The mortuary. Yes, we got ourselves a nice, cool three thousand two hundred experience. Fantastic. Hey, we'll take it. Um, we need it. Yep. Plus the uh, roughly thousand experience that we got from uh, getting ourselves in here by talking to Pox and pretending to be dead. Yeah. So that's grand. Let's go find. There's a dude around here somewhere by the name of Soigo, I believe. Let's talk to this dustman guard. You see a stern-looking man in black robes. He's glaring at you suspicious. You state your business. They seem to have gotten turned around in these halls. Are there any guides around who can direct visitors? The dustman frowns. He seems skeptical. There are guides that can just direct you to the antechamber. Do not wander the mortuary unescorted. Thank you for your okay. assistance, Dickwad. Yep, I'll go find that guide. It would be fantastic if you told me where he is. Because he's going to get us out of here. Let's go look for the guide. Where are you, so we go? His name is So We Go. So we go. Oh wow, yeah, I never made that uh That's pretty funny. That connection. I don't know if that is intentional. I mean it might be. Can can I just exit? Oh, I can just exit. Never mind. I'm gone. I'm gone. Fuck this. Yep. I'm out. Uh yeah, I guess because we used the um the teleport to get out last time it uh they're not allowing me to um get out via speaking to Soigo this time so that's unfortunate but hey we're fine um all right so now oh, fuck motherfucker. oh this guy really this guy wants is, a pc this yet. guy is tenacious yeah come on man let me let me just fucking coax you away from where i need to speak to people yeah, we're going to talk to this guy soon, but um, we're going to talk to Sevtai first, motherfucker. Are we far All enough? right. Okay. There's fucking thugs all over the place. All right, Sevtai. This woman's face looks broken, and she is covered in scars. They look like bite marks and fingernail cuts. She's cradling the shreds of several rags in her hands and is staring emptily at the wall of the monument, at the names there. Greetings. Sst! You! Get back! The woman's teeth peel back, displaying a row of black canines. What do you want of Seftai? What's the matter? What's wrong? Dos! Cos! Chaos! Chaos, man! Wrecked my cart, attacked me and killed three of my sisters, who tried to stop them. Not sisters anymore. Now they're nothing but names on this memorial wall. Chaos, man. Chaos, man. Faction, they say. What they are is adult bunch that runs wild through the hive. And does whatever they please. We never did no harm to them. They lope like in like dogs and tear apart anything within their reach. Who are these chaos men who attacked you? They're a hyper gang. A bunch of adult sods. They call themselves the... The starved dogs barking. Some such bummy nonsense. Okay, so yeah, if we were doing a, a pacifist playthrough, or we, if we weren't doing pacifist playthrough, we could go in and commit to killing a couple of their guys. Um, unfortunately, uh, we're going to skip that particular one. Um, but uh, learning about the Chaos Men is is useful. It's important. Uh, let's go. To, oh, what's that? It's important. It is important. We're going to talk to Ingress now. You see a haggard woman wrapped in rags. Her hair is disheveled and dirty, and her complexion is extremely dark. Burns cover her arms, 
and her right hand is fused is a fused lump of, sh- of flesh. It looks melted like wax exposed to great heat. Greetings. Updated my journal. What is it you want me? The woman's accent is thick, and you're having difficulty making out what she's saying. You want to leave me? Not leaving this city, so I'm not. I can't try it. It's not city. It's prison everywhere. Everywhere. There's worlds, there's... Her eyes gleam madly. Plains, that be sinking sands. Fields, thirsty nettles be. Sightless worlds where your limbs are given life and head. Setters of dust whose people are dust and whisper ash. The hosts with door, without doors, the twilit sand lands. The sinning winds, the singing winds. She starts to sob quietly, but she seems all out of tears. And shadows, the terrible shadows there be. Where are these places? Where's? Where's them places? She flings the lump of her right hand in the ark, gesturing at the cityscape. They's all here be! Doors! Doors here to everywhere! Doors. You! You are not knowing this. She squints at you and her teeth start chattering. Tell you, I will. Beware every space you walk through or touch in the strice cursed city. Doors, gates, arches, windows, picture frames, the open mode of the statue. All the spaces twin shells. Beware any space bonded on her sides. All these are doors to other places. What do you mean? Every door has a key it does. And with this key, the sure the true nature. An arch becomes a portal. A picture frame becomes a portal. A window becomes a portal. All eager to take you someplace else, they steal you away. She raises the lump of her right hand. And sometimes, what's on the other side takes part of you as a death. What are these keys? The keys. The keys number as many as the doors of the city. Every door a key. Every key a door. Her teeth start chattering again as if she's cold. And a key is. A key is. Anything. It may be an emotion, an iron nail held between us your second and your fifth fingers. I thought, thought three times, then I thought once in reverse. What may be glass Ross? Updated my journal. And these are all keys that open these doors. Yes. Her teeth start chattering, and she clenches her mouth closed and squints her eyes. Y- yes. Can't leave. Can't leave. How did you get here? Updated my journal. From... She seems to calm slightly, and her eyes take on a thousand league stare. Came from a place. Else from ya. Almost life ago, hummed a tune. By a glade. With two dead trees that had fallen together. A brilliant door opened in the space between the cross trees, showed me the city on the other side. I stepped through, ended here. Why can't you go back? Try it! She tries to sob again, but no tears come. Try it! All those here lead to other places. She shudders and grips her melted right hand. Went through trice ten portals. Some a purpose. Some a accident. None of them right. Can't find we back. There must be a portal that can take you back. Can't even leave here. This square. And there. There's the place of death behind the gate waits me. She points at the mortuary behind the gate and then turns back to you. Her face desperate. Can't go anywhere in the city. You can't go anywhere. What do you mean? 
Anything could be a door. Any arch there, any door here could be a part. Don't know the key. Could get us sent to another horrible place. Her teeth start chattering again. Got to stay away from the closed spaces. All could be doors. Could have a key on me and not be knowing it. You, you're afraid to go through any door or arch because it might be a portal. She nods, her teeth chattering. How long have you been afraid of this? She squints. Since the last time I walked through the last portal, the place where my hand... She stops. Since my tenth turning, I'm in my fourth tenth turning that now. Her teeth begin chattering again. Thirty years. You haven't walked through any door for thirty years. Her vision seems to clear slightly. She looks up at you, her teeth chattering. If you got here, there must be a portal that can take you back. It's only a matter of finding it. She smiles. Her teeth aren't chattering because she is cold. They are moving around inside her mouth, her gums twisting as the teeth shift about. They rise and recede as you watch, chattering as they rattle against each other. What? She hisses at you. Only takes the one portal to step through. Accident. The dread. The fear. Into. I went through thrice ten. Lost my hand. Burned my flesh. I lost my sense. She looks at her feet. No more. No more. I'm, s- updated my I'm sorry. I'll try to help you. I'm out. If I can find a way to help you, I will. Peace. Yep. So that's uh, another sort of mini quest. Okay. Let's talk to Ban the Sender. And then that'll be about all the time we have. You see a heavy set man with sharp features and a pained expression. Despite his huge frame, however, he has an effeminate look about him, and unlike the other residents you've seen, he looks to have bathed recently. As you approach, he looks up hopefully and calls out in a high vo- voice. Craddock, good sir. What? Huh? His hopeful expression dies as he studies your face. A thousand apologies, good sir, if I have given offence. He gives a slight bow. I am called Bayan the Sender, third child of Di Bayan the Sender. I am one of the many runners in the employ of House of Senders. No apologies necessary, Bayan. What do you want? A thousand apologies for troubling you with such a trivial matter, but I seek Craddock, an overseer in the hive. Bayon looks like he's in pain. But alas, he eludes me. He looks at you, hopefully again. Could it be that you have heard of such a man? I'm sorry I haven't. Bayon gives you a deep sigh. I am bound to deliver a message to him, and as yet fortune has chosen not to favour me. I could help you. If I came across the man, I could pass along your message. Bayan's face lights up like a lantern. Oh, fortunate day for Bayan of the House of Senders. Any assistance you could provide would be most welcome. If you can find this Craddock and pass along the message, I shall see to it that you are paid for your troubles. All right, what's the message? Bayan recites the message almost like a mantra. The shipment must be incursed by the third day, or there will be a penalty. Bayan frowns. I am told that Craddock will know of the shipment to which the message pertains. If I see Craddock, I will pass along the message. Is there anything you can tell me about him before I go that might help me find him? He is said to be a 
giant of a man, stern of features, that he was an overseer in one of the hive marketplaces. Alas, I know little else than that, good sir. I see. That's enough to go on for now. Bayon bows. Thank you, sir. Should fortune favour you and you are able to bear the message to Craddock, be so kind as to return and tell me of it. I will see to it your efforts are rewarded. Very well. Farewell then, Bayon. Updated my journal. Fantastic. Fantastic So many quests. Getting ourselves a handful of quests. And uh, I believe we've even ended an episode in this very location before. But we're out of time and we're still being chased down by thugs. (laughs) Uh, so we will see you lovely folks next week as we continue our adventures in the Hive of Sigil. Sigil! <laughs> it's Sigil. It will not, not be according to Morte. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. See you next time.